This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and today I'm going to show you how you can get eggs in Valheim as soon as you have a boat. Let's get to it. So with the upcoming Hilder's Quest update, we are getting the ability to get eggs without having to beat a world boss. How do you get them? Well, if you talk to old Hilder here, you take a look at her map, and you can see when I do this, it tells me that the map locations are already added. If I take a look at my map here, you can see we have the new location here, the Sealed Tower. This is an above ground dungeon. If you haven't watched my full breakdown on Hilder's Quest, I will link it down in the description. You should totally go check that out. Anyway, this sealed tower is where you can find eggs. There are chests inside the bottom of this thing where the boss is, and in those chests there are two eggs, just enough to get your chicken breeding going. Now you still gotta go to the plains biome, but you don't have to defeat Yagi Boy in order to do it, and I have a trick for slipping into this tower and getting these eggs unnoticed. Coming over to the plains biome, the real big threat over here, because it's one of the hardest things to avoid, is the death mosquitoes. That's gonna be what gets you when you come over here. So in order to do this trick, I highly advise finding one of your sealed towers that is close to water. You can see here that this one would be ideal because I could bring a boat right up to it and just run from the boat or slap a bed down right there there at the edge or even come over here to where there is a safe biome. You can see we got dark woods biome right here. Set up a small forward operating base and then make my way over to this tower. I am however at this one down here which is also kind of okay-ish. You could probably get in a boat right here, set up a little base on the shore or even over here. You do want to make sure that you are prepared to do this because there's a really good chance that you are going to die. You can can deal with death mosquitoes at this stage in the game and that is pretty much the only thing you are going to be able to deal with over here in the plains biome but luckily enough everything else over here is pretty easy to avoid. In order to deal with this I highly advise having full tier 2 set of leather armor or anything higher obviously. You want to stack on as much health as you possibly can in order to be able to take a hit from these and then you want at least a tier 3 bronze buckler. Now, in order to take the hits from these and block the damage from them, you're gonna have to parry them. That's the only way to reduce the damage enough that it's not going to just stagger you and you can actually fight them. If you take a look here, I've lowered all of my skills down and I have blocking at 25. You should be around 25 in blocking if you have been blocking at all. You do want some degree of blocking, some amount of blocking skill, preferably somewhere in the 20s or higher. It's not too hard to level your blocking before you come do this. Just find a little gray dwarf and practice parrying on him. You will level blocking relatively quickly. So here we go. We have a death mosquito here and I'm going to attempt to show you that you can do this and there we go and there. Super easy to do if you can get your timing down right. If you do fail at this stage and I want to show you what failing looks like, you can still take a single hit without dying if you block prematurely. However, that is your only chance after that you are going to need to parry in order to be able to take him out. Okay, so now that I've explained to you how to deal with the death mosquitoes once you get over here, I'm going to explain to you how to know where to put your portals because we're going to use portals to slip into this tower. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build a workbench and climb your way to the top of the tower. They have changed workbenches. They operate the same way that this tower does. So inside the center of this tower, you cannot build. It goes all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom. As far as you can go, it is a cylinder now. If I bring out another workbench before I place it, you can see we have that red line out there. That's showing you the area of effect of your workbench. If I place it down, you used to be able to see the line there when you had the hammer out, but for some reason, 
reason it's not showing now. But anyway, that lines, that area there now goes the same way that the tower does. It goes all the way to the top and all the way down to the bottom. It used to be a sphere. So you only need one workbench in order to build all the way to the top. And you are going to need to get all the way to the top. Now, I highly advise finding an area in this thing where there isn't a whole lot of areas for little goblins to peek their heads out. So right about here would be a pretty safe area. So once you've dropped down a workbench, you want to use the one by one flooring just because it's going to be easy to use those to get to the top. You're not going to have to carry as much resources. And then you want to just start building back and forth like so until you get to right about here because the goblins can't get you here. You can see that goblin sees me there, but he can't do anything. And all we need to do is zoom out so that we can see the top. If you look over there on the other side, we have stairs. That is the hole that you're looking for. The eggs will always be directly below the entryway. Now that you know where your stairs are, you need to come to the side of the tower that has the stairs. This is directly below the stairs. The stairs go right down here. Once you are at the proper location, you need to dig down a little bit. I advise digging down about a wall's height, not quite a full wall. You can see here it varies just a little bit, usually about three or four pickaxes deep. So if we come over to, let's find an area here where I haven't dug right about here and we dig down. So one, two, three, that should be about as deep as we need to go. It's better to be a little too high than it is to be too low when we're doing this. So then what I would do is just kind of dig out here and then you want to flatten it out, but do not flatten too close to the tower. If you do, you raise dirt inside the tower and this can cause a problem. You can see the circle there. It's right at the edge of the tower. It's like pulsating out. Let me give it a little flatten so you can see. You can see right at the edge of the tower. That is close enough and as close as you need to be. Now what you want to do is place down your first portal. This portal can be anywhere in this area. Just slap down a portal. You're going to need two portals to do this. So you're going to need three portals in total because obviously you're probably going to want to slap down a portal at your Ford operating base wherever you decide to put it. Now that we have our first portal down, we are going to take some flooring and we're going to place a little bit of flooring like that and then snap another one like so. Now that we have that done, we are going to come over here to our 26 degree wood beam. We are going to spin it around and we're going to shove it as close to the wall as we can get it just like that. Now we're going to go to our other portal. Now, once again, the portals have faces. So this is the front of the portal with the runes on it. You're always going to come out of the portal in this direction. We want to make sure that that is facing away from us. So we are going to place it like that. Now that it is directly away from us, we are going to turn it so that it is just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the top of the beam face here and we're just going to lower it down all the way as far as it will go. And you want to take it until it is red and then bring it back just a little bit like that. Now, if you screw this up, your only option is to die because you are going to be stuck inside the tower and getting back into the tower and getting the eggs and getting back out may be a bit of a problem because you're going to have to knock down the door that is securing you from dying in order to die. Hopefully you get it right on your first try. If not, your only option is to die and then come back out, destroy the portal and try again. Now what we're going to do is walk through our portal and you can see it pops us out inside directly on top of the chests. If we take a look, there's an egg. And we take a look there. There is your other egg. So you grab both of your eggs. Now what you want to do is jump on the chest. And if you got your portal shoved far enough in, you can just portal back out. And that's pretty much all there is to it. That is how you can get chicken as early as Bronze Age. Is it worth it? I think so because the chicken stats are insane. This is just plain cooked chicken meat, 60 health and 20 stamina. That is an absolute massive boost to your health going into every 
every other part of this game. So let me know what you all think down there in the comment section. Do you think it's worth it? And if you found this video helpful and informational, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And if you're looking for some more Valheim content, you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.